Welcome to the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. Again, I'm Matt Shabert, Assistant Athletic Media Relations Director here at Moorhead State. Right now we're joined by uh, Moorhead State uh, new offensive coordinator for the football team, Craig Mullins. And Craig, welcome to the program. Oh, it's great to be here. I appreciate you having me on. As offensive coordinator, uh, let's first talk a little bit about um, what you are trying to accomplish with the offense as a new coach and what you're going to bring to the table as the offensive coordinator. Well, I think the first thing I had to do personally as an individual coach, especially being quarterback coach, is to, to raise my comfort level. Uh, Rob and I have been talking football together in the off season for quite some time. And then in speaking with him the last couple of years, the big thing that he's changed, is, as you guys have seen, is the tempo mm -hmm. of the offense. And um, that's been an adjustment for me. It's been a fun adjustment, mm -hmm. I'll say that. And um, just feel, raising my comfort level with the kids that I'm coaching and then, you know, the amount of plays that we're able to get in and trying to get more plays in. Talk a little bit about um, – what have you seen in the last maybe five, ten years, maybe even less than that, the change in college football? It, it seems like, you know, offensively now, it's so much of a much more of an up-tempo passing game in it, and it seems like everybody is really trying to get into that, that game, uh, that offensive game, you know, and increase their point level, obviously, right. and that's going to help. But um, what have you seen and, and what uh, are some of the good things that you've seen in, in – in well, in changing. Obviously the tempo, like you said, and it's all about getting your best um, players' touches. You know, being a balanced attack in, in this day and age doesn't mean you necessarily run the ball 50% of the time or throw it 50% of the time. A lot of time you're throwing the ball to set up the running game and then trying to get a variety – your players, your playmakers, trying to get them touches in space – and uh, and then trying to vanillaize the defense because you're playing so fast, they don't have time to maybe make as many adjustments as they could if you're you know huddling up and getting under center and doing those types of things. You've got uh, right now three quarterbacks mm -hmm. as quarterbacks coach. Um, talk about what you've seen from from those three and the battle that you'll have uh, in the spring as spring practice has has just finished and heading into the fall. Um, Talk about what you'd like to see from your quarterbacks. I told our staff yesterday, I wish we had another week mm -hmm. just to get reps. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the main thing. You can draw as much as you want up on the board. You can talk them through it. You can watch film. But the value of 11-on-11 11 11 reps when everybody's playing fast is the best teaching tool, tool on the planet. And uh, that'll be our theme. Get them reps, see how the competition unfolds. And the cream always rises to the top. We, whoever our guy is in the fall, we want it to be, you know, very obvious to all those evaluating that's our guy. I think um, kind of the underrated player in college football is the offensive lineman, but it's got to start there with pass protection, you know, making holes for the, for the running back. Talk about the importance of, of your offensive line. Huge. You know, we've, we have a couple holes to fill. We had a couple guys out this spring, we a couple shuffling guys around. But I tell our guys, you know, you, we got a quarterback, we got a good running back, we got some good wideouts. But it comes down to the battle one up front. And, you know, if you think about it, they're really the parents of the mm -hmm. offense. Mm -hmm. They tell us what we can do and what we can't do. And if they can make whoever's a quarterback feel comfortable so he can process what he's seeing in a, in a timely manner, the chances of making a good a good decision with the ball in your hand are you know dramatically increased. You know, not only are those guys, you know, to the fan, they may just see those guys blocking up front. Those every single play, those guys up front have a specific place they're supposed to be, a specific block, a specific technique they're supposed to use, and it really, you know, those are some of the smartest guys on the team. They have to be because, like you said, they're the first point of attack and they dictate what can happen behind the line of scrimmage and going forward. Yeah, and, you know, they've been challenged. You know, Coach Burnett and his style of defense is going to make force you to make that decision, decision quickly. Mm -hmm. And looking at cut-ups, cut you don't see a lot of that happening uh, against the style of defense we went against a year ago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I told, told, we talked about this yesterday in our staff meeting. 
even though it may be a roller coaster in the spring, going against that style and forcing guys to make a play, reading a defense and making those decisions quickly, I think are only going to help us in the long run. And finally, um, we talked to Coach Burnett, and he led the team out on his Harley for the spring game. You know, next spring or fall, what are you, what, what are you going to do to top that? We well, gotta I'm going to have to be right, creative because right. Coach Burnett's really good at creating some attention on himself, yeah. as you well know, in right. a short <laughs> period of time, and uh, does a great job. He, he, you know, he's, he's hard-nosed, he's intense, but he also brings humor to the staff. And uh, I need to show my, my wife the video. She knows I've been wanting a motorcycle for a long time. We may have a double double run yeah, out there, and we got to get. I don't you know, have any so, problems at all. Right. Her, her being on the back, right? You know, maybe right. she'll buy into that a little bit. Well, certainly we look for some fun activities and some great things for the Eagle football team and the offense uh, in particular from you. Um, um, thanks for joining us, Craig. And, and again, we we hope for good things for the Eagle football team uh, this year. I appreciate it, and, it, and it's been great. This spring has been great. That's Craig Mullins, the new offensive coordinator here for Moorhead State football. That's going to wrap it up here on the Eagle Sports Coaches Show.